do, I'm gonna make a paste out of all this. I'm gonna use some olive oil. All right, then I'm gonna use this. I chopped this uh, garlic and ginger. Make sure you take it off, don't waste no food. Alright guys, so I, I think I forgot to tell you about this and I'm going to use some dry thyme to it. About this much. And I'm going to use some pepper. A little bit of salt. A little bit of paprika, curry powder. I'm gonna use it just a little bit about it so you get a unique taste to it. And I'm gonna put some uh, apple cider vinegar to it. About a little bit, that's it. Give it a nice mix like this. And I'm gonna use this, uh, put this butter into it too. And I'm gonna save a little bit in the cup. I'm gonna put some whiskey into it. That's it. And give it a nice mixture. Pitch right here. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip all these pork chops into it just like this. Make sure it get battered up real good. all right guys so it's the last one and so the next step is when you make a good pork chop you have to let this seasoning get into the chops a little good so you have to leave it at least for about an hour i would suggest you but if you're in a rush at least 30 minutes Alright guys, a little bit of salt. Pinch of pepper. Just a little bit of butter. We're going to let it cook uh, just about a couple of minutes. A little bit of soy sauce. The oil is heating up the pork chops into it. And make sure your pan heat is really low. You don't need to get your uh, pork chops cooked too fast. Let this cook for about a couple of minutes, then uh, we just done turn, uh, turn it around. All right, so most important thing is you have to turn it around, switch it back and forth because you don't want just the one side to get cooked too much. So I'm just gonna give it a nice turn. And it just smells great. Guys, okay, so check this out. 